Concerned that your dog has breathing difficulties? Well, I know I have some right now. Here's what's causing it. Here's what you can do to help your dog, potentially yourself, in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. So I've been feeling a bit wheezy, <coughs> a bit of a kind of a scratchy, irritated cough. I'm almost feeling sometimes like it's maybe a little bit more difficult to breathe. Well, maybe or maybe not, you guys can see behind me. See how it's all white? It is not white because it is foggy, it is cloudy. It's white because of smoke. These massive fires that are burning in California, Washington, Oregon, I mean, they're unprecedented, you know, biggest fires in history, um, burning more uh, acres of forest than ever recorded. Um, fortunately, I'm, we're not, you know, primarily affected by them in terms of, you know, I don't have fires burning in my backyard, you know, our homes aren't threatened, but all this has put in just this huge plumes like, of smoke, which has now made its way up here to Canada. But what can we do about uh, issues with smoke, secondary particulate matter, make it more difficult to breathe? Like, how can we protect you guys, ourselves? First, we're just staying out of the smoke as much as possible. Get, trying to, I'm trying to restrict the dogs to short walks, short little leash walks, in and out, do your business, no serious running where you're exerting yourself, having to breathe in all that smoke, all that particulate matter, secondary irritating lungs. For our potentially lung irritated pets, we're trying to keep the house particulate free as possible. So what we have is this guy going full time. It's a fancy pants air purifier. Number three, additional humidity. Regardless of the underlying cause, anytime there's lung inflammation, Additional humidity, in the majority of the cases, can really improve uh, any type of lung disorder. I have a standard little vaporizer here. What I really like to do is add, you know, fill that thing up with a couple cups of water. And then add in one of the essential oils that may also help anytime there's lung injury. One study showed specific benefits of having lavender essential oil added in via diffuser, adding in about 20 drops to about two cups of this water of the vaporizer, getting the lid on, I hope, and getting some more fluid of vaporizing into the air. Ta-da, see if this works. Ah. Mm. Smells good. Green tea. I've been drinking more green tea. One study done in Korea showed that adults that regularly consume two cups or more of green tea a day had far improved uh, lung function versus those who didn't. Could you use it on your dog? Could you use it on your cat? You bet. I'm going to show you the next remedy where we're going to combine some green tea. One of the other big principles in terms of helping your dogs, your cats, yourself with lung injury is also controlling the coughing. Probably one of the easiest, safest, and surprisingly most effective remedies involves something we all have in our kitchen, this guy honey. I'm gonna incorporate the green tea, which we know is the great antioxidant. It's been helping people, makes sense it's gonna help dogs. So I've got one cup of green tea. I'm going to combine that with one tablespoon, and the green tea has cooled somewhat since I first took the first sip. No, Pippi, just wait. I'm going to put in one big tablespoon of honey. Yes, it's going to be a good day for you. You get a tablespoon of honey. You're going to get mixed in with that cup of green tea. And I'm going to add in one other herb. We're going to add in one other remedy. It's not necessary to have this remedy, but it'll make it even more effective. It's licorice root or licorice root tincture. 
two dropper fulls, which is two mils of licorice root. Go, okay, let's see, will Pippi drink my concoction? Okay, I know, but I'll give, give a description in the description box of exactly how I just made this. Oh look, Pippi likes green tea and licorice root and honey. Who would have thought, Pippi? Lastly, I encourage you to supplement with a natural anti-inflammatory. The one that I feel is probably most effective is 95% curcumin. It comes from the turmeric root and it's the active ingredient. I've been taking more of it lately dealing with the smoke. If you've got a dog, a cat that's got similar conditions, I encourage you to consider using it as well. When we're looking at doses, it's about 100 milligrams per 10 pounds of body weight daily meaning these 500 milligram capsules, Pippi would get one of these twice a day. Most dogs, you gotta disguise it in some food. I'm almost thinking with Pippi, she'll just consume it. Oh, look, mmm. Oh, did you really eat that? Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Right, Pinter.